Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to alert you all beforehand that Lynn is, of course, someone who loves being nude, so we've prepared for at least one sticky note starting at around the late end of episode one or the starting end of episode two. Please bear that in mind, and welcome to this Let's Play as Lynn. Some of you have recommended various endings, including Lynn's very, very short joke ending, which I actually considered doing, but then I remembered. Hey, wait. I was going to do the ending that corresponded with the latest Brie ending that I did. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. For those of you who know the ending that I am referring to... Well, good. You now know what I'm referring to. For those of you who don't, you will get to see something new from Lynn. Something that isn't a fox, for example. Or a mermaid. There's only one mermaid ending. So without further ado, let's begin. And remember, you will see the sticky note. Nothing I can do about it. They only censored the Nadine route for me, so... Got a bit of sweet, but thank I still grateful for them for actually doing so to begin with. <laughs> Thankfully, I think Liam... Yeah, Liam... When he becomes Lin, oh right, autoplay. Thankfully, I think he does wear a bra, so that way, what, well, well, a bra with straps over the shoulders. So, at the very least, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to tell when he's wearing, or well, when she's wearing her bra or not. She's pretty nudist, so she doesn't like wearing a broad bed, is what I'm trying to say. And my second notes don't get small enough to do what they did in the Nadine route. And before any of else of you get all mad and huffy and stuff, that's just how YouTube is. Not me. YouTube. YouTube would probably ban my channel from existence if I did that without making the videos 18 plus. Don't get mad at me, get mad at YouTube for it. Again, though, I wish I could set it to, like, say, 15 plus, or 16 plus, or something, you know? Because then it probably won't matter nearly as much, because they've probably already seen them to begin with. <laughs> Liam looks like a monkey. <laughs> he really does. Liam look looks like a monkey. I never realized Derek had such a soft face as a dude. Weird. No, you want to what? Shout? That's a 70s song, I think. <laughs> got a meeting with Ben, then we got a meeting with Nathan. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. Oh, the press. Holy shit, he has two colored eyes. Look at that. Green up top. Whatever color that is on the bottom. Is that like a hazel or something? I never noticed that either until now. For the sake of symmetry. Much better. No, oh, it still doesn't. It's still. God damn it, get back here. There we go, now we're symmetrical. To be fair, though, that's part of a different funding than the actual paychecks. Yeah, it's probably two separate parts of the budget. Of course they're trying to cut costs. That's how every business works, ever. At least when they get big enough, yeah. You gotta remember, Abaddon is pretty damn big. A much bigger budget. Look 
Look at that hand. Holy crap. <laughs> it kind of scared me when I saw Ben's palm. I never bothered to look at that until now. Yes, but if you were in charge, we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> the world of any research is cutthroat. <laughs> That's how business works. You get an edge over your opponent, and you want to keep that edge as long as possible. Well, we've seen in Nadine that it didn't exactly work so well, did it? Slowly becoming suspicious. Ha ha ha, Dan already knows. Three, two, one. Never mind. <laughs> well, I don't know about the greatest, but definitely the greatest ones of this year, perhaps. Weirdest? Yes, absolutely. They might. Do you think they'd win the Nobel Prize for that, in all honesty? Not the Peace Prize, just the prize. Not the Peace Prize version, that's a different one. Huh. I think that they would, in all honesty. I mean, they discovered a way to instantly change someone's gender in about, what, five seconds? That could be modified to do other things as well. I mean, they pretty, pretty much just created genetic manipulation, so you'd think that they would. I need to see how long this thing is because like I said guys I've been using this messed up schedule so this may be a Saturday episode this may be a Friday episode we'll see once they try it for a few days they never go back except maybe Steph <laughs> Steph's about one of the only ones that shifts back and forth Why do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's why. I hope so too. I like to play dumb when I play my last plays. Because <laughs> it's way more entertaining, despite the fact that I know what's going to happen. Again, with his hair on fire! Fire! <laughs> Get a fire extinguisher for that! <laughs> I'm surprised he's allowed to have that haircut at that job. Hmm. You know, he doesn't really... He looks more like a 17-year-old when it comes to the hair, doesn't he? That seems like something that someone like Justin Bieber would do. Or any other pop star who happens to be male. I'm surprised that one of the twins didn't do it now that I look at it. Oh, well, at least he can smile in a, in a happy way <laughs> around other people. Yes, yes we are. Human trials of eye color. Skin color. Oh, wait, that would be bad. <laughs> Instant tan! What else can we do? Hmm.
Of course it doesn't, because you still have a sense of morality. Something businesses do not. Because businesses are not human. They are made up of humans, but that does not make them human. And what if I told you that they were already planning to do this in the morning? <laughs> millions? I'd say it's worth more than just a few millions. Well, we can test it on you if you like. Wait, why is Derek running Nathan through that? Shouldn't that be Lynn's doing while well, Dina's busy being off mad scientist? Oh wait, he's not Dina yet. Never mind! <laughs> he hasn't gone mad scientist yet. I'm trying to think of something here, so give me a minute, guys. So I won't be talking for the next minute or two. I'm, I'm trying to think of something funny here. I, got, I, I kind of got a lead on something here in my head. It doesn't involve Dina, so you can understand why it's taking me a minute. Yeah, I can't think of it. I was trying to think of what would happen if Dina kind of became one of those people that just were like one of those shadow culprits who just like, gender change, gender change, gender change, like in the like dark alleys and shit. I, I couldn't think of anything good though. Secondary research team? What's a secondary research team? Yeah, an intern, yes. That's how it works. Like what, hold this while I weld that? Jobs like that? Yawn. Oh come on, be a little stricter than that. If he's been doing that a lot lately, then just giving him a smile is not going to make him stop. On the first or second day, maybe, but on the third day, you gotta start cracking down a little bit here. And have you been doing that for weeks? See? See? Told ya. Dan already swings that way. What's up? <laughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. He's like, yeah, finally. Uh, not yet, but trust me, we will, we will soon. <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, in case something goes horribly wrong, yes, that makes perfect sense. Yes, but again, if it goes wrong, if someone has a freak allergic reaction or something to whatever we do, then we need to find a way to reverse it. 
That just makes sense. Yes, but it is Yale. Oh good, that means I can actually be useful. How do you weigh out the tubes, by the way? How can you weigh them when they'll just when they won't stay upright? Do they have like a holder? Surely they've got to have a holder. How would they... To the beach! Yes, they were different, but they were also the same. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen Dee in, sw in a swimsuit. Yes, I have. <laughs> She's just been an octopus when I've seen her. Yeah, I would say so, because Dina turned herself into an octopus cat. <laughs> oh, sorry, an octo cat. Oh my god, can they make Cerberus? Just in general? Oh my god. Maybe a centaur. <laughs> nope. Cover! Take cover! Uh-oh. And yet he has a smile on his face when he said... Hey guys. I just want to point out that the placeholder thingy is still there. Do you mind removing that? Because <laughs> I have a feeling that it's never going to be removed, so it's probably best just to cover up the placeholder part. <laughs> I just want to make sure you guys don't... Whoa! Cute as is already, believe it or not. <laughs> as a female, anyway. So that explains why girls can have longer hair. Is because it's... Lighter? How can it be like lighter and thicker at the same time? I don't understand. See, again, cute as is. Oh, I thought that said hibs. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Instead of hips. What, being a redhead is unnatural? <laughs> oh my god, she's touching her butt. <laughs> you know, you think it would hurt to have your crotch on fire. Hey, we're chillin'. <laughs> she just has a face that looks like she's just chillin' out. Like a lounge or something. And they're like, oh shit, wait a minute. <laughs> hey look, there's what's left of the centrifuge. Hi, Dina!
Yeah, I would say so, yes. I just imagined if one of you hadn't said, get down, then what would have happened? Hi, Nadine. Nope, it's Nadine now. <laughs> yes, but to be fair, it's kind of a natural reaction, though. You know, it's, it's like an impulse. This is like, achoo! Oh, excuse me. You know, or Gesundheit. You know, it's just an instinct at this point. We're pretty sure, but we don't know how yet. <sighs> You know, if you imagine Nathan as the normal Nathan and see two girls standing next to him, you'll be like, holy shit, he's doing good. <laughs> but then you realize that Nathan's still a girl. Da -da -da. <laughs> Nathan, it might not hurt to tighten your belt a little bit. Just saying. That looks good when you're going clubbing and stuff. Not exactly at work. I'm not making a sound effect this time. I told you I'm not going to do that every time. <laughs> Let's do this! He's like, oh please, we'll be fine. Oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. Take cover. <laughs> Good question. Nathan. Oh, wait, he's gone. Chaos! Pure chaos! Oh. Alright everyone, I got a megaphone! That makes me in charge! <laughs> that usually seems to work in a way, as long as you don't tell them that you're in charge. As long as you have the megaphone, then people normally just assume that you're in charge. And yet half the time it's just like half the time. You think that we could improve megaphone technology at this point? In all seriousness, do you think we could improve the technology of a megaphone at this point? I mean hell, having a megaphone I mean hell, you could have a little headset on. Uh, would that actually work? Because the megaphone would still be very loud. Oh, maybe that's why it always does that noise. It's because it's picking up what it's shouting on the other end. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry about that. Oh, it's a kitty! Hi, kitty. Don't stand on my table today. Dun, 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 dun. It's a kitty. Hey, my microphone. Mine. Hey, mine! Mine! You can't headbutt my microphone. Oh, I thought it said biggest catch. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, yeah, it's for liability reasons. You gotta check. You can't just assume it's the centrifuge. 
You gotta have proof. I think you mean has exploded, not is exploded, guys. <laughs> It wasn't because of you, it's because of you and Yo combined. <laughs> yes, and you did check it. Hello, kitty. Oh, don't even start with your morality nonsense, Liam. You're not a paladin. I was playing Hearthstone earlier, so I was thinking about the whole paladin guy. Cat, would you stop? <laughs> hey, Dina, you get to be anime. That's way better. You get to be anime! Oh, don't rub it in, Lynn. Come on. Don't rub it in. How you doing, kitty? After we develop a cure. After. Why is this gas still here? Why is this still here? In the room. Turn on the vents. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Come on. It smashed into the vent, then exploded. Do you not know what put in a gas hood? Yeah, explosives. Like hydrogen and methane. Methanol is kind of something akin to methane because it has methane in it. Or vice versa. Either way, I know that methanol and methane ha are related somehow. Why were they dealing with methane? That's what I want to know. Yet. Yet. De uh, yet, Lynn. Yet. Ineptitude. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, spaced out. <laughs> completely spaced. I was thinking about something completely creepy right then. I know I'm not going to tell you about it. It was that weird. Yeah, see, you'd think that they would win the Nobel Prize for what they've discovered. Uh... 
Uh, it would probably be the best, but I don't really know at the moment. She's like, I want it! Oh my god, she needs a visor. <gasps> she needs like an eye visor thing. Like they do in the sci-fi when they're looking on all the computers and shit. She needs one of those. Okay, but, sadly guys, it has come to the end of episode one. I'm not even going to deal with any of this any of this at all. So, thank you all for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed the first episode, or at least this first episode's commentary, because it's the first episode. So, thank you all for watching so far. I will see you all in episode two. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see anything even remotely related to what's coming to the channel, or if I have YouTube troubles, which seems to happen at least every three days or so. So, feel free to watch me there. You will also get instant updates for when my videos come out because of that automatic system of YouTube. So, if you really care that much about watching the videos, then watch my Twitter. If you don't, the YouTube feed will do just fine. I will see you all next time. Oh yeah. <laughs> see you on, guys.